Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Game Tools. In this video we'll be looking at the unit component, which is one of the components that you would find on a navigating unit. Now as you can see, we have it here. Uh, it's a very small component, it has a few properties and we'll be looking at now. So it has the attributes property. This we'll actually be covering in another video about attributes, so I'll skip that for now. Um, next it has a radius. This is, well, the radius of the unit, so set this so that it matches the radius of the unit. This will be used when it needs to find a path so that it knows if it can pass through areas or not. The field of view of the unit, well, that is how uh, wide its vision is, and this is seen from the extreme left to the extreme right. And lastly, we have this called y-axis offset, which controls uh, the elevation of the unit above the ground level. Um, this is only relevant if you do not have a rigid body or if the rigid body on the unit has gravity set to off. So let's just touch on the rigid body just for a second. As um, by default, this is added to the unit if you use the quick starts. Um, it is, however, optional, so you can remove it if you don't want physics involved in unit navigation. If you do remove it, um, and you want your unit to be hovering above the ground at some level above the ground, you would need to set this y-axis offset, which will keep it at that level. Um, the same goes uh, if you if you untick gravity on your rigid body, you should do the same thing so that you ensure that your unit will stay at a certain height instead of just floating off into space. Uh, which usually happens when you turn off gravity. Now, if you just want your unit to be on the ground, uh, as you probably would normally would, you just leave that as it is. Okay, so that was all for the unit component. 